I feel like people are, are what they are born with and they can be whoever they want to be. So what if like I wanted to be black? Could I do that? Because that's what I wanted to be? Um, I don't think... No. <laughs> no, I don't think so, but like... Why? It's what I want to be. It's what I like. Yeah. Except me. <laughs> it's a valid point. Gotcha! Do you think genitals define gender? No. No. If genitals don't define gender, why does removing them affirm it? Ooh! So a person uh, will feel more affirmed if, if they change their genitals and it'll help affirm them societally. So would you then, would you say then gender does, genitals don't, do you define gender? No, I don't think so. still say no? No. So what do you have to say to the person that says you are what you're born with and you just need to accept it? Thank you. Okay. Gender is a societal construct. What if I wanted to be black? Can I just be black? You can't just assume a different culture, especially considering the um, hierarchies of race. That is a hierarchy in race? What do you mean by that? What if I like wanted to become black? Could I do that? I mean, no, because race is a set thing. Like race isn't a construct, but gender is. Uh, what I see is like they're both things you're born with. Well, I don't think that you're born with your gender. I think gender is what society sets on people. So I could be like, you look like a boy. If genitals don't define gender, why does removing them affirm it? I would say these people would go along with any kind of empathy to make other people feel good about themselves. This is a beautiful thing, which actually means if enough people believe they can become black, they will believe people can just become black. I think trans women should be able to enter female restrooms. Yes, I do. Yes. Yes. Their gender identity is determined by them and they should be able to make that decision. I just don't really care. I don't really think the gender really matters. Say you're at the gym and you're like changing and then this trans woman comes in and you just see like his genitalia. How, do, how would you feel about that? Just, just a body part. It's not anything that serious. Just because you say you are a woman doesn't mean that I feel comfortable having you in my facilities. A woman's locker room is for women. Simple. I can tell you this. Everybody is confident until they become a parent. You would be surprised how much that will change you. True masculinity. Say it. Fuck true masculinity. It's made up. You're just full of shit. You're so, just an insecure little like, True masculinity is... I don't care. ...not a good thing. Well, I mean, it's obvious you don't care, but why don't you care? Are you feminine? Are you feminized? Are you a feminist? No? What the fuck? Are, are you feminine? Are you a fem? Is that what you want? <laughs> Are you a fem? What? No, I'm asking you. Are I'm you not answering you because you're a fucking loser. I'm asking you. You said that F masculinity. That's what you said. Yeah. Okay. Why? Well, because if this is masculinity, fuck that. What, intelligence? Being able to talk to people by themselves instead of having to be around a crowd of people? A loser. A loser? Why am I a loser? Because you're homophobe. It's funny because you try to act like, and you try to come off as an intellectual. All you have are slogans. All you have are ropes. All you know how to do is parrot certain things that you were told to parrot. You have I'm no the independent thought. You have no actual thing going up upstairs. I'm the All you do is just repeat the same things over and over again because you have no original thought. Doesn't that concern you? In all honesty, by just looking at this person, I know he had some battle with masculinity and it wasn't very comfortable for him. The soy is strong with this one. I think they should have the power to put people like, in prison. Like, of course. I don't think anybody should. I believe that we should implement restorative justice. I don't think that prisons actually prevent crime. And I think that mostly people support retributive justice as an emotional so, so reaction to bad things. And I, I know, I understand that if there is an urge, like an urge to punish people, I disagree with that. I say no imprisonment for anyone. So what would, ha what would happen to the mass murderers then? I don't believe they should go to prison. You can keep okay, asking. But how, how about the? Do you think I should go to prison? Let me clarify something should go to prison. real quick. I will say that over and over. Why would you even want to normalize something that dangerous and special? That's how we got pizza with pineapple. As the Italian, they want to send those people to prison too. The moment you have a society without consequence, you're just telling me you want a society and everybody says yes. That's a great idea. I have a PhD in digital feminist activism. So in order to fight the patriarchy, you took on a shitload of debt so that you now have to spend the next 40 years being essentially a slave to your male bosses, doing everything they tell you to do just so that you could pay it back. Yeah, that's a feminist moment right there. Congratulations, you played yourself. Remember me? Uh, no. No? You don't remember me at all? Steven Crowder at all? No, not familiar? No. This is you threatening to slash my tires here? Oh my God, you, you need remember to this? Slashing my tires and actually 
Funny enough, also, we're also the Robert E. Lee statue seems you helped defend. We're, try we're trying to work. Let me ask you, why do you think it's okay to threaten to slash someone's tires? Hey, I didn't do it. Predictable Z. The first instinct is always denial. So why did you do this, oh man? Well, you realize that you, you put our crew in danger. Lucky for us, we had a Bristol board. How about you check this out here? Don't, before we, we'll, we'll leave this, cop, yeah. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a conservative who has a difference of opinion from you. And I've never threatened actions of violence. I've never threatened to slash anyone's tires. I think that you need to get out or we're going to call the police. You know what, Les? Let's call the police. Officers, because matter of fact, we actually have it. No, no, actually, I would like to speak with the police. We're about to file a report very soon. Okay, you should do that, man. This is a part of being a man is owning up to the actions here. When you threaten violence against someone, Sir. When you threaten violence against someone, if part I of being a man is, is taking ownership of your actions, taking responsibility. Listen, you said you would come back when I was off work. I, I, so I will, but could you just, but I don't believe you're going to be here because you're a dishonest human being. You, you said you didn't even post this and acted like you didn't know me. I think you're a liar. I think you need to go. Well, let me ask you this. Could you just say, hey, you're sorry, take this down. Could you take this down? Could you take it down? Because there are other people. It's not going anywhere? Well, there you go. He just admitted to doing it. Ha! Got it! That's not a man. That's a kid. If you want him to be accountable for his decision, well, he needs to understand accountability. Because the moment you show empathy, suddenly the balls go bigger. Could you just say, hey, you're sorry, for you to go take this down. Could you take this down? Could it's you take it down because there are other people? It's not going anywhere? They confuse empathy with feeling they are right. That's why there is no middle ground with certain people. I don't think you can be sexist towards men and I don't think you can be racist towards white people. How have you arrived at that conclusion? I don't know, just hearing like all the stories about like all this messed up stuff they did in the past. Like, I'm not even yeah. black, but I have a grudge against them. Well, wait, yeah. but you're part, part white. Can I, you're part white. Are you, are you referring to slavery? Yeah, and just like the treatment of them over time since then, like all the discrimination. Do you think that uh, white people were the only ones who engaged in slavery? Pro probably not. That's probably around the world too. Or Do something. you think that maybe the fact that you don't know that everybody engaged in slavery is part of the reason why you think the way that you do about this? Um, I don't know. I know. I don't think it has to do with my worldviews. I think it has to do with the insecurity of myself. I don't like the white part of me, so I kind of project that onto others, probably. Thank you. Right. Okay. Well, is that's that well, racist? that's that's a pretty that's a pretty self-aware thing to say. How do you think they went about getting slaves? Like, what do you think the process was? Didn't they go up, like, uh, that's that's part of America, right? They, like, went into Africa and stole them from their homes? Yeah, so you think that they just went to Africa and then, like, rounded them all up and, like, caught them, put them in sacks and then put them on that's, the boat? That's pretty much what I, the gist of what I got out yeah. of so the reality of it is, and like it's not your fault for not knowing this, our education system is so flawed, mm -hmm. that the Africans who were sold in the slave trade were sold by other Africans. So there were slave markets in Africa where they would capture their own people and then sell them off overseas. And there was also the Barbary slave trade as well, which was um, like Arabic Barbary pirates who would capture white Europeans and enslave them too. And there was like over a million white Europeans that were enslaved during the Barbary slave trade. Slavery happened around the world everywhere. So wait, are you trying to like say that like white people were slaves too? Yeah, white people were also slaves. That's where the term mm. slave comes from is the Slavic region. Exactly. That's why Eastern Europeans are so oppressed even within Europe. I don't know, but I didn't see them oppressed over here that much. Like, didn't, I don't know. In history, I don't, I don't see books talking about the oppression of white people. Yeah, that's, why that's, do you think that's that a is? problem. <laughs> Lady, it's freaking 2024. Come on. You can just Google that. There have documentaries. There have video. So detailed. And you still missing out? No. You don't want to look for it. Because you want to keep thinking the way you think. Because you live by moral points. Because you don't like the half white in you, right? <laughs> This is literally people trying to watch a show of Spider-Man, but the woman's version, Spider-Woman web something, I don't know, I'm not going to watch it, but they were just laughing their ass off because the script is so bad. It's a disaster, terrible dialogue, interestingly weird plot, waste of money. It's a pile of f shit is basically cooked. And now they're getting rid of all of their scripted shows and they're mm -hmm. all gonna do a bunch of garbage reality television. Yeah, because no, I hate it. it's cheap as f and they and they don't have any money. They're not getting the same money anymore. People yeah. aren't paying the ads. This female volleyball game that we witnessed earlier featured not one, not two, not three, not four, but five. This, this is ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. Can you imagine which side won? 
Not only that, the male players were always on the court. So you had biological female substitutes just sitting on the bench for the entire game. You think no, we're no, no, very... This topic, though, and why are you filming me? You don't have my permission. Uh, we don't need your permission. Okay, we're in a public so space. Why are you talking to me, then? Uh, well, you came to oh, us, no, actually. You came to me. Uh, no, so you came to us. why are you disrespectful, then? Huh? Why are you being disrespectful? Why am I being transphobic, huh? Why? No, no, no. Oh, am I being transphobic? Why? You shut up! What? Oh! Oh, wow. Answer my question. Did okay. we trigger you? No, you didn't trigger are me. Are you trans, too? Do I look trans to you? Uh, who knows these days? Okay, so why what about you characters? How about you guys? No comment. I hope you can go rot and how you f***ing wife. Wow. What happened to Love Trump's hate? What? You own this place? Oh, did we trigger you? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Did we trigger you, sir or ma'am? Okay, first of all, I wasn't talking to you, so shut your up. Huh? And you, well, I don't care. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, well, the more you speak, the more I'm surprised, and suddenly you wanna say you wanna fight too? I don't know. The more certain people talk, the less intimidating they sound. Why is there a need for you to be a feminist? I think as women, we are undervalued when it comes to our intelligence. I would offer to you that there's never been a more remarkable time to be a woman in this society. We are doing better than men. We are graduating at a higher rate than men. That's why I said to you, despite how you're feeling, what are the real world implications that suggest to you that you are somehow beneath men? You might have a personal experience where I mean, a man we can talk about said, sexual assault everywhere in the military in the home. So are these the things that, that you're fighting to end sexual assault? Of course, yeah. Okay, great. You don't have to be a feminist to fight to end sexual assault. You don't have if you want to be a feminist girl, put it on a t-shirt, wear it, put a hashtag. I'm just telling you, don't unnecessarily put yourself into a corner and to recognize that it has never been a greater time. I would offer it is a way better time in this society to be a woman than it is to be a man. It feels like certain people are born a victim. When, have you ever paid any bills in your lifetime? No. So you don't know what it's like to be a homeowner and not to be able to afford your energy bills and then see some stupid young people throwing soup over a painting in a gallery that has nothing to do with the fact they can't afford to pay their bills. You don't know what it's like to pay a bill, Phoebe, do you? No, but I have empathy for those people. What do you understand about an ordinary family who can't afford to pay their fuel bills, who needs ordinary fuel to be delivered, but because of green taxation, their bills are now so expensive they can't afford them? And if we stop oil, how much more expensive do you think fuel is going to be, Phoebe? Or is it that you're just spouting out words that you and your friend think look good? How is it related to stopping oil to throw soup over a painting in a gallery? How is that related? How is it helping the poorest people in my country? Gotcha. I don't think she's going to sleep very good tonight. Don't get me wrong, my cosa quita bon. Put the fire na mi blonde, kush hash purple skunk, criollo, colombici, jam jam, turlo, keta verde, ta welcome.